The internet can be a wonderful place, but unfortunately, it can also be very dangerous. And one of the most troubling aspects of the internet is the prevalence of sextortion. It can be an incredibly traumatic experience, but it's important to remember that there are steps that you can take to protect yourself and regain control of that sort of situation. Now, this video will give you some steps to consider if you've been a victim of sextortion online. So there's lots of information here, pay attention. Report the extortion. Now, if someone attempts to extort you for money or sexual favors, you must report them immediately. Contact the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center or local law enforcement agencies, but remember that extortion is illegal and you do have rights. It's necessary to file a report so that they can investigate and take action against the person attempting to extort you. Get help from experts. Now, seeking the assistance of cybercrime experts like us here at Cyber Investigation is a wise decision for those who have fallen prey to online blackmail. Our experts possess the knowledge and specialized skills necessary to track down the identity of the blackmailer, determine where the blackmail originated, and put a stop to the threatening communications and behavior. Protect the evidence. Now, it's imperative to protect any evidence that you have of the sextortion, and this can include screenshots of conversations, emails, and any other communications that you've had with the perpetrator. This evidence can be used in investigations and can also be valuable in proving that you did not consent to share any of these intimate images or videos. Seek support. Now, experiencing sextortion can be incredibly traumatic, but remember you are not alone. So reach out to someone you trust, like a friend, family member, or even a therapist. If you're uncomfortable talking to someone you, that you know, numerous resources are available online, such as the National Sexual Assault Hotline and other places like that. Now, it's essential to have support during this difficult time, so reach out to someone. Take control of your online presence. Now, taking control of your online presence is vital after you've experienced extortion. You want to start by removing any intimate images from your online accounts, work with the platforms that the photos are on to have them removed if you need to. If you've been the victim of revenge porn, consider using a service that can help you remove the images from search engines, and they do exist. We'll link some here. Protect your future. Now, it's essential to take steps to protect your future after you've experienced extortion. And this can include changing your phone number and email address and ensuring your social media accounts are private. Now, you may also want to consider changing your name online or using a pseudonym to protect your identity a little bit further. Sextortion can be a traumatic experience, but remember that you are not alone and you can protect yourself by reporting the extortion, protecting the evidence, seeking support, taking control of your online presence and safeguarding your future. Now remember that you have rights and resources and that there's a lot of help out there if you need it. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe out there.